Hello and welcome to VShare. I hope you people are doing great. My name is Talha Khan and I'm starting this new series on data science with R programming. In this series, I'll be taking you through the complete tutorial on data science right from the basics. Now I'm sure you must all have heard the buzzword data science or predictive analytics. It's everywhere these days. Some people are calling it the new oil or some are calling it as a sexist job of 21st century. Well, whatever you call it, but it's indeed an essential skill these days. Also with the rise in technology, the companies are moving towards customized solutions for their customers and businesses are becoming data driven. Basically data is being used everywhere and hence this is an important skill to learn. Now that being said, let's first talk about my motivation behind creating this course. So as far as my background is concerned, I am a civil engineer and I also hold a post graduation in project management. Basically I work as a project management professional and I'm not even a data scientist myself. So naturally you would ask, why should you listen to me? Well, I've always been fascinated towards technology and programming and my fascination for it led me to learn data science. But the problem was that I had no background in this field. So I struggled a lot in learning it. You know, I knew basic statistics. I didn't know much about R programming. Basically I was lacking in all the essential knowledge areas that are required in this field. And if you go online, you can find many tutorials there. However, I found one basic problem in most of them. Now, I'm not saying that they are wrong or they're not good, but I'm just sharing my experience. So the problem was that most of these programs either will teach you in a very basic way using simple examples such that the learning can only be considered bookish and cannot be used in real life. And then on the other hand, you'll find some very advanced stuff. I mean, they don't even explain the basics and straight away go on explaining different algorithms, assuming you are aware of the basics. So I kind of finding it difficult in navigating through this. So after going through all this, I thought why not make it accessible to everyone who is interested in learning this subject. And the basic idea is that whether they are engineers, statistician or any other graduate, I'll approach every topic from the perspective of someone who is a beginner or naive in this field. But at the same time, I try to keep it practical enough to mimic real life situations. So this was the background. And that's how I came up with the idea and the content. Now, without further ado, let's get started with a few basics and definitions. First, we have data. So what is data? Simply put, data is a record of information of a particular quantity. That's it. We have two forms of data. Structured data, as the name suggests, it is a very organized data and can be analyzed easily, such as your spreadsheets, company sales data, etc. On the other hand, we have unstructured data, which is complex and unorganized, such as text messages, images, emails, etc. Now next we have data science. So let's understand this with an example. Suppose we want to analyze our grocery store sales data, which is a structured data. So we could easily do it like total sales in last three months, which was the most selling item, which was the least selling item and so on and so forth. This way we can easily find useful information from it. And this is called business intelligence that basically analyzes the past data and tells us what has happened. In fact, we even analyze data in our everyday lives. Suppose you want to go somewhere, you will analyze different route options and the time required for it, then modes of transport, etc. And after analysis, accordingly, you will make a plan. Similarly, if we are feeling low, we analyze the symptoms on our body for any illness and so on. But today we live in a time where we are surrounded by continuous chunks of data that is being generated every day, every minute, in fact, every moment. And interestingly, besides human data is being generated by computers, sensors and other machines. And it is not a regular piece of pie where everything is structured in a nice arrangement and it is ready for us to analyze. In this type of data, the volume is also very huge with data running in terabytes. So one thing is very clear, our regular database management tools lack abilities to process such data. So we need special tools, algorithms, a different art altogether to deep dive into this data and find useful insights. So this is simply what data science is. Now there are two other buzzwords that you might have heard of, artificial intelligence and machine learning. So AI is any form of intelligence in the machines which resembles human intelligence. Now the next question would be intelligence in machines. Are you serious? Yes, 
But the question is how? I would say the same way as humans learn anything, that is practice and practice. We can program our machines so that they can also learn and act on their own. Now this may sound like a Terminator movie scene, but really when we do our conventional programming, we create rules to convert our input into a desired output. So every time we give an input to the machine, it is programmed to give the output based on some rules. But in machine learning, we train our machine on a set of data and then when next time it is given a new data, we don't have to reprogram it. Rather, it can use its learning from previous data and give us the output. For example, we train our machine to learn how an apple looks like by taking hundreds or thousands or maybe millions of apple. We record information like size, color, etc. And now once our machine is trained, then we give it a new fruit. But now with its past learning, it will tell us that whether this is an apple or not. Here we are not required to program it again and again. And this is called as machine learning. Now it is being used everywhere, right from YouTube, Netflix, Amazon, etc. Okay, so that should be enough terminologies for now. We will go in more details as we move on with the course. But please don't get stuck in these definitions. You just need to understand the overall picture, that's it. Now let's see what is required to acquire these skills that we just talked about. Now I'm sure you must have heard people saying that learn data science in 10 hours, 20 hours, one week, etc. But I'll be very upfront and honest with you. This is not an easy skill. And you cannot master it in 10 hours, 20 hours or even a week's time. If it was an easy skill, then everybody would have become a data science expert by now. So I'm not demotivating you. I just want you to have a pragmatic approach so that later on you don't lose your track. Okay, so now moving forward, there are a few essential things that you must know in order to truly master it. Number one thing is statistics. People think that we have software which will do everything. Then why do we need to learn statistics? Believe me, it's not like that. Unless you know statistical concepts, the algorithms, you cannot excel this science at all. Software is just a medium to help us and we must know the concepts, then only we can build models which are useful in real life. So basic statistics is absolutely essential. Then we have tools. The statistical concepts are so complex that it cannot be done manually or with simple tools like Excel etc. So we need to learn programming to execute those algorithms, calculations etc. So in this course we will be learning R programming. R and Python are two famous platforms that are being used these days. Then the third important thing is model building. Model building using the data. We will see this in detail in our course. And last but not the least is communication. Your knowledge, your programming skills and your model is a complete waste if you cannot convey it to your audience or your stakeholders. Just remember the people who will employ you or your organization or your customer may not have any understanding of data science. So you must be able to convey your results to your audience. Now communicating the results, the findings in the manner that it can be understood by everyone is an art and this is a completely separate topic in itself. But remember this is a very important skill to have. Now let's come back to the course and see how it is structured. So we will have four modules and I have kept everything simple and tried to explain reasoning logic behind all these steps. So we'll start by learning basic statistics. In this module, we'll go through basic statistics, which is essential for building models. And this will form the foundational knowledge. We will learn the fundamental terms like probability and different distributions, hypothesis testing, etc. Then we'll move to second module where we will learn R programming. Now the best way to learn programming is by doing it. So we'll get our hands on on the basic concepts of R. Then we'll move to the third module, which is modeling. Here we will learn different modeling techniques such as linear regression, logistic regression, regression diagnostics, variable selection, and we'll also solve assignments in R to build these models. And then in the last module, we have advanced modeling. Here we will deep dive into the modeling and we'll learn some advanced concepts such as clustering, principal component analysis, discriminant analysis, neural networks, time series and so on. And then obviously we'll solve assignments in R to build these models. So that is how the course is structured. 
Now this was just to give you a glimpse of what all you can expect from the course. And you must have observed that the course covers concepts right from the basics and then gradually builds up to the advanced modeling concepts. So that is the whole idea. To give a holistic view and then break it down into easy and understandable small chunks. So alright then, that will be all from the introduction of the course. Now I'll catch you up in the next video where we'll start the basic statistics. So until next time, see you.